Hello everyone, welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. What do the Brown family from Sister Wise and the actors of Stranger Things have in common? At first sight, fans might not find very lot in common at all, but upon second glance, they could uncover more than meets the eye. One thing is quite certain, the Brown's lives have completely shifted from their days in Utah. Continue on and see what other fans had to say. Sister Wives viewers think the Browns are now living in the upside-down long-time Sister Wives. Viewers know that the Brown family members are nothing like the way they were in season one. Multiple migrations and evolving family dynamics caused the original three wives to leave Cody. Today, the family is entirely divided as the wives go their separate ways. And that's precisely why fans think it's almost like they're living in the upside-down universe from Netflix's Stranger Things. I know it's been said ad nauseum, one Redditor titled their post online. Watching season one as opposed to later seasons, Crody is a totally different person. The weddings, the original three women, everything is radically different. Reminds me of Stranger Things worlds, ordinary you see upside down. How bizarre. Yes, his change in personality, priorities, family values is so obvious and sad. Another Redditor replied, I've wondered if the last few months have pushed him to hopefully self-reflect and see where he went wrong. All the ways he failed his entire original family, he can still recover relationships if he truly works at it. Others reacted and claimed they didn't think Cody Brown was capable of self-reflection. He tends to put himself and Robin's wants before everyone else in the family without much regret. Other Sister Wise watchers indicated that Cody Brown was always like Way. He merely put on his best behavior. As time went on and Janelle, Christine, and Mary started expressing their displeasure, the facade entirely shattered. Is there really a path to redemption for Cody Brown? Although at least one Redditor thought there was a possibility for Cody Brown to make amends with his estranged family members, others aren't so sure. The family patriarch had a very rocky connection with his sons Gabriel and Garrison. Garrison regrettably took his own life at the beginning of March 2024. After this family tragedy, many Sister Wise viewers don't believe there's any opportunity for Cody to heal his fractured familial bonds. What do you think about the comparison? Is Sister Wise like a upside-down rendition of the show's first days? Or do you think the family was always in turmoil and they put on a phony facade for viewers? Leave your opinions and ideas in the comments. Sister Wise star Christine Brown has been keeping in touch with fans amid the Brown family's heaving process following the heartbreaking death of Garrison. Many of her posts today are about her healthy lifestyle and B&B, and B, but Christine's latest post captured the eye of many as she took fans back to some of her finest experiences with the kids. Keep watching to see her touching post. Sister Wives, how's Christine Brown today? Christine has been thriving in life with David Woolley. The Sister Wives star recently disclosed that their real estate loan officer, Rian, helped them finance their property in Lehi and Airbnb in Moab. The 52-year-old woman likes to share her healthy lifestyle as well. She even maintains a healthy living page on IG, where they coach individuals about how to enjoy life to the fullest. Aside from her work success, Christine also spends most of her free time with the kids. Christine takes fans down memory lane special tribute. In an Instagram post, Christine shared old images from some of her fondest experiences with the kids. Gosh, it's so fun being a mom. I'm so blessed. I genuinely think our kids are so cool and just amazing people. The Sister Wives star captioned. Some of the images cover their family celebrations and trips in recent years, such as Gwendolyn's wedding and trip to the UK. Meanwhile, several followers wrote supportive words on Christine Brown's latest post, commending her for being an excellent mom. You guys always look alike you are having the greatest time together, no matter what you all are doing. Family unity. Happy Mother's Day, your amazing mom. You're an incredible mother. Beautiful pictures and what a lucky mom. 
Happy Mother's Day to all you great mamas. Sister wives, Janelle Brown celebrates Mother's Day with Maddie. Many fans were curious about Janelle following Christine's Mother's Day tribute, but it seems Janelle is busy minding her own business. The Sister Wives star just uploaded a clip from her recent excursion to a strawberry farm with Maddie and her kids. According to Janelle Brown, their buckets filled up fast due to the availability of strawberries. Making jam is on the agenda tonight and maybe a pie. We will see, she added. David Woolley calls Cody Brown definitely wrong regarding Christine Brown. Sister Wives fans were introduced to David Woolley in the fourth and final segment of the one-on-one -on -one episodes. He feels Cody Brown's assessment of Christine Brown is skewed by his bad feelings against her. He's definitely wrong about her being backstabbing and stuff like, no, she's not that at all. I don't see that, he explained. And I'm a people person. I can read people. She's not that way at all. She is pretty good. David then shared his honest view about Cody. He wears his emotions on his sleeve. Would I be like that? No, he wants you to hear him. Sister Wives followers feel Cody Brown's mask slipped during the previous three seasons. Cody Brown's persona has altered drastically for many Sister Wives fans since the show originally began in 2011. He was exposed to the world as a man who lived a happy, fulfilling polygamous lifestyle with three wives and one soon-to-be wife. Cody always seemed up for a joke or two, appeared invested in his children's lives, and appeared to have enough affection for all four ladies. They, in turn, appeared happy. However, as the episode progressed, audiences often sensed the family's underlying sadness. By the time season 15 was produced, the family had divided even owing to the coronavirus, COVID-19, epidemic, and they never recovered. Subsequently, Cody appeared to take that time to strengthen his monogamous connection with Robin Brown and was not honest with Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown about his feelings. He then played the victim card when he discovered they had moved on without them. That's when his mask slipped. One fan remarked, He's always been this man, he's just angrier now. It's his loss of control and his decline in popularity. Cody is the type of person who has to be in control, admired, worshipped, and the center of attention at all times. Now that all that is gone, he's miserable, a second viewer wrote. Sister Wives actress Mary Brown has produced a scary video to make an announcement. Fans fear that she is about to issue a tell-all book regarding her marriage with Cody Brown and her ex-sister wives. In an Instagram video posted to her account on Saturday, Mary, 53, sat on her porch outside her house. The camera started at the end of her path. It moved along the path as sinister music played. As it came closer and closer to Mary, voiceovers started to play. Various others could be heard saying, Are you going to cry? Fake. Freak. Nobody loves you. Etc. Mary's head was down the entire time until the camera was right in her face. When she brought her head up, the screen turned from black and white to color. The TLC alum offered a solemn stare to the camera. The video halted and Mary remarked over it, I'm done allowing other people to tell me what I'm worthy of. The camera zoomed back out before the screen faded to black and the words, worth up, Monday, flashed on the screen. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.